Hi, this is Nelson Ranch. So I want to talk a little bit about the Agnes Tachyon event. Uh, this event basically gives you uh, these rewards. Uh, the rewards are nice. Uh, I, I like the fact that they actually give you this shard. Uh, but the most important thing is that they give you three of these uh, reports. The uh, factor, uh, factor Research Report uh, from Agnes Tachyon. Uh, basically, you, you have to do all of them essentially <laughs> this this draws almost dead last um, so uh, in the previous ones I, I've actually had cases where I was like 59 and there were like two reports still left over <laughs> all right fine I'll just finish it all uh, but it doesn't take that it's not it doesn't take that much to actually finish this off uh, this is just like day two or day three and I'm already halfway through and uh, we've got another uh, what six more days so you know as long as you do the daily races right as long as you do the daily races uh here uh and you do some of the uh team races the stadium races and you do one training uh per per day uh, you're gonna be fine uh, you'll, you'll you'll complete it um, you want to do one training per day anyway because you want to finish this um and you can always boost this thing uh, so when you do the uh, uh it just doesn't really matter you can check this and that will boost the agnes tachyon event so the event so you'll be done all right you, you, you'll be done fast um okay so uh i want to talk about uh you know how to well, how i am thinking about this let's put it that way so uh, i have done it in such a way so that i have tried to get uh, three factor for all the distances so for short I only have four but uh, well this one is not that good because it only ran six times um, but this one ran uh, 21 times in uh, Project Lark um, and I gave it uh, uh, no I didn't give this one uh, this one here uh, ran it 21 times in the Grand Masters um, and I increased the mid distance so that she she ran as a mid distance character so uh, although I couldn't get the uh, Japan Cup got fifth place in Japan Dirt Derby sixth place in Oaks but despite all that you know she's won enough G1s one two uh, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Uh, well, no, that, that one already counted. So I've got six G1s, and you know, if there's a character that runs dirt or something like that, it becomes easier. So uh, these two are basically the short distance characters that I have that I use as uh, for parents, uh, for grandparents, sorry. Uh, and for parents, I just you know make characters uh, at that time. Um, so the short distance is the weakest, but the thing is, you know, you only do like short distance once, maybe twice a week, uh, twice a year. So I really don't really feel the need to like you know, boost up my short distance. Um, mid distance is the one that uses the most, so I can understand why people actually focus a lot on mid distance. Uh, and for mid distance, three factors. I have a whole bunch. So this is a special week. That's mid distance nine. So it's like it's very easy to inherit mid distance from this, and she's power six, speed two. So I mean, I'm actually quite happy with this. Uh, she's won. Uh, what did she lose? She lost. Uh, <laughs> she lost the mile cup and she lost the kikasho. Probably because her stamina was too low for the kikasho. I don't know why she lost the mile cup. But aside from that, she won everything. Uh, what is this? This is also a. Uh, Mid distance three, but she's designed for runners, so I might actually. Uh, I, I was thinking about possibly using that. Uh, this is my uh, Agnes Digital. That's mid distance three, power three, climax two. So she's also ran a lot. Uh, she ran uh, 39 races. <laughs> uh, that's a crazy amount of races that she ran. Uh, she's a triple TR character there for that one. Uh, this is my Oguri. It's got speed 3, mid distance 3, but it's not that good. Uh, but these two are the better ones. This is my uh, mid distance 9 uh, Ryan. So I 
when I don't feel like bothering to make a new Ryan, I just use this Ryan, uh, especially since she's won this many. Uh, although, you know, the white factors aren't as good. This is the first character that I've put in the uh, uh, Agnes Tachyon report to make it into Power 3, Mid Distance 3, uh, and then later to uh, Green 3 as well, because she's got Climax Scenario 3. And she's won, you know, 39 races as well. This is also triple tiara. Um, <clears throat> so I think I'm okay with mid distance, and uh, my guess is June is going to be mid distance. But I think I can actually fight with what I've got here. So the question is the mile and the long distance. Um, for the mile, I have to admit, uh, what I have for the mile is weak. Um, so I am most likely going to. So I don't have this. So I've got this Helios, which has uh, power 2, mile 3, but URA 3. URA 3 is actually pretty good, and this skill is actually quite good. Uh, this skill. Because this skill increases speed at the very uh, at the very end, and so some characters don't have that, like Ruby, for example. So if that skill drops because it's got uh, uh, you know, Y factor 3, that's actually quite good. Uh, and she's got all the skills for a mile. Uh, uh, so, but even if it's not Ruby, even if it's like uh, a runner, like a Silent Suzuka, right, uh, it, it'll help. So she's got, you know, uh, three here, she's got two here, two here, two here, two here, uh, and two here. So she's got one, two, three, four, five useful uh, white skills, and that's really more than enough. Um, this is the uh, first character that I put in the uh, factors for the mile, and now she's, uh, you know, blue three, red three, and green three. She's also got the uh, URA2 and uh, 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 race power, uh, so that that's really good. Uh, so I could actually focus on this to actually make you know runners, but I don't I don't really feel like doing runners for, for whatever reason for this one. Uh, this Tyke Shuttle was the very first UF that I got, and she doesn't have that many wins, so I don't really want to put anything in her. Uh, but she does have mile three. Uh, the fact that it's also into also makes it weak, although. It's got one, two, three, four uh, skills that are useful, plus the grand life scenario. So, you know, push comes to, you know, it's not that bad. Um, and then there's this nice nature, which has won 32. Uh, she is nice nature, so she ran the uh, uh, Kikasho uh, Derby and then the, the uh, Satsuki Show, although she lost, which kind of sucks. <laughs> um, <coughs> But she's still got a lot of uh, wins because she was also in the uh, Climax scenario. And I've kept her around, partly because she won a championship meeting. Um, but the white skills are weak. Um, and then I have this uh, measured Orion, which also did classic uh, make a new track and has won a huge amount of uh, G1 races. But once again, you know, the white skills are, are weak. Um, so I'm hesitant to put into here. So... What that means is, oh, and the long distance looks like this. Sorry. I have actually a pretty good stable with long distance. This is because I actually put in, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, Tachyon reports into long distance characters. Uh, this is the one long distance character that I'm thinking about the possibility of putting in. Uh, right now she's only stamina one, and that that's too weak. But she's long distance six, and uh, between her two, so. This is actually, uh, you know, quite decent. The only thing is she doesn't have any scenario factor, so I'm hesitant. But I don't have that many characters that have stamina 9. So if I put in one factor here to make her stamina 8, and then in a future Tachyon report I can make her stamina 9, then I'll have a stamina 9, you know, uh, you know parent uh, for betweeners, and uh, I can actually increase the stamina to like 1400. Right, or close to 1400, because it's going to be the 3200 Kyoto, so you actually need as high stamina as possible. <laughs> um, but I had this from before. Um, I didn't bother putting in this because I don't really use that skill. But you know, this has uh, you know URA scenario, so that increases uh, stamina, so that's good. A grand life scenario increases guts, that's fine. I borrowed that one. This is a long distance 9 for runners, so stamina, stamina, and power, but this is for runners specifically, so I just use that for runners. I have uh, three class on blacks, but I think this is the one that I use, because she's got uh, long distance 6 and uh, runner 3, 
and it's only got uh, int 1, or I could use this one. This one also has long distance 6 and turf 3. So turf 3 is weaker than uh, uh, runner 3, but uh, you know that's one guts. And then there's this uh, Kitasan Black, which has long 3, turf 3, runner 3. Um, and uh, she's got she, she's actually the best one that I've got but she's she's power uh, she's speed for a long distance and I'm not so sure how much I need speed it would have been better if she was stamina for uh, this but again I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually send out a runner I know everybody's probably gonna try and send out a runner for uh, long distance this is my only uh, stamina 9 but this stamina 9 has uh, mid distance 3 and long distance uh, <laughs> three uh, mid distance six no mid distance five sorry and long distance three so i don't really want to use this stamina nine for anybody because it, it, it it's not matching well but i have used this as a grandparent to actually increase stamina and long distance for many characters and the primary reason is because for every character that runs you want this this is right turn and so that i think is worth it uh if i just want stamina and long distance but that one has uh, long distance and stam. Um, uh, this one has long distance and guts. So I could do that as well. If I'm doing uh, chasers, I probably want to do this one, where I increase uh, uh, long distance and guts. And then I can use the power card, uh, Hishi Amazon, to boost power, and I rely on the guts from uh, this. So this is how I think about this. I think about uh, what I need for the future, uh, what are the what's the deck that's probably going to be used, uh, uh, and you know, with that in mind, I actually make parents and grandparents. Uh, now, I personally think at this point in time, because the Takian report we now know is coming at this you know, reliable rate, uh, putting factors into uh, either grandparents or parents is perfectly fine. Although I would personally still recommend putting uh, factors into uh, grandparents. Um, so I am probably going to put something in a mild character, but not on the three, but in the two. And with that, the most recent one I've got is this Midget Orion which has uh, mile 2, speed 2, so I can make this mile 3, uh, but this has a uh, large scenario 3. And, you know, for the mile, she has all the mile skills that I want. She's got this, she's got this, uh, this has uh, tendential spring, so that's actually got spring. Um, this is the low version of high voltage, so I want that. Uh, this is the skill that makes you go fast on the final stretch. So, you know, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six useful... Oh, six. This skill is... I might pick that as well. So I have like six, seven useful skills uh, for the mile. So, you know, uh, I could just put in here and then she would just be like the parent that I use for mile every time for a betweener. Uh, and I don't have to make any more between her parents and that would actually you know, make my life a lot easier in which case uh, she would be like the dober that I have in the uh, mid distance uh, or I could put in factors to this type shuttle which basically ran the triple TR in the climax scenario so 37 victories so just you know, running all of these uh, and she has speed 3, mile 2. So I could just put in 1 here and make her mile 3, and then she would be a great grandparent uh, for future uses, because uh, she has all the mile skills, especially for our leaders. Uh, corner, uh, corner acceleration, uh, Mako Shobu, uh, and uh, leader corner. Right? Leader corner, corner, uh, corner acceleration, uh, that. And this is, I think, uh, multiples of 400, so. And this is winter. So if there ever happens to be a winter thing, then that will be useful too. And this is for summer, although this is likely not going to drop. So that's one, well, half, uh, but uh, one, two, three, four, five. Mild Champions is also, yeah, so five. So I've got like five good uh, white skills plus climax scenario factor. So I could put it in here uh, and use her as a parent. She's not going to be that good as a... Uh, uh, and use her as a grandparent. She's not going to be that great as a parent because she's got mid-distance here. Uh, but even as a parent, she's got you know, 
She's got this other Condor Pass as leader 3, although it's power 1, so I really don't want to use her as a parrot. Uh, so, a Grand Parrot here, or here is Nishino Flower. Uh, not this one here. Uh, did this Nishino Flower? No, it's not this, this Nishino Flower. Oh yeah, now I remember. So the other one is, uh, you could also try to put it into uh, these things. Right, I have two runners uh, that has, you know, runner three. Um, but the more important one is uh, Save in Sky. But, you know, I've got two runner skills with runner three, so I'm just, I can just live with this. <laughs> Use these as grandparents for future runners. Um, I believe I have a Chaser 3 as well. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. Right? Yep, I have a Chaser 3 as well. Right? With this Tamam Across. So, you know. Uh, I could put one in here uh, and make this into, you know, Chaser 3, Power 3, which would be useful. Um, and for Betweener 3, I've got uh, this Narita Brian. Uh, which has, you know, Climax 3, uh, Betweener 3, uh, Guts 3, and she's won all the Climax scenario races, 37. She also did the Triple Tiara, I don't know why I did that. This one is uh, the other Brian that did the Classic, uh, and she's got Climax 2 and uh, Betweener 3. The problem with this one is that she's got this skill, which is not that useful, and this skill is not that useful. And this skill is, eh, sort of useful, but she's only got essentially 1, 2... Two, two uh, white skills and a half here, because that gives that, and that one gives Kyoto, so it's less useful. And that one is only one star, so essentially two and one. So I was hesitant to put it into here, which means I'm hurting on uh, leaders and betweeners, uh, and chasers, sorry. I'm hurting on leaders and, and, and chasers. Uh, so this is the chaser three. Uh, but for leader 3, I can't use it on this uh, the Wonder Cute. I, I just made her, you know, to run the scenario, so she's and she's a dirt character. Uh, but leader 3 is this uh, Oguri and this Fujikiseki. This Fujikiseki is not that bad, but she doesn't have that much in the Grand Master scenario. Only 13 wins. She was, I didn't raise her as a parent per se, although she actually does have everything. So I could use her in a pinch, and I have used her in a pinch to, to make parents, and I don't really need her uh, uh, unique skills, so... But it's weak! It's only got one, two, right? Oh, even that one's a one star, so she's only got uh, effectively just one. She's only got effectively one skill, so she's weak. So, with that in mind, I was thinking of doing a two, finding a two-star leader and bumping them up, and I have a two-star leader that's really good, and it's this Nishino Flower. So if I can make this into a three-star, and then a three-star speed, and then three-star here, I could use her as a grandparent, and, and uh, she would be wonderful. Uh, I could also probably use her as a parent as is, because she's got mile six. Um, so... I've got three reports. <laughs> um, and... Uh, if I use her as a parent, then I want to use one report on speed. And if I want to use her as a grandparent, then I want to put two reports. Uh, well, I want to use all three reports, really, for uh, leader, green, and blue. Um, and if I want to, you know, make a... Uh, if I want to, you know, beef up my mile, then, you know, I want to, you know, uh, use uh, reports on that Tyke shuttle that I showed you earlier and on that... Uh, I want to use it on this Tyke Shuttle that I showed you earlier, this one here, to get mile 3, or I want to use it on, uh, uh, this Orion to get, uh, mile 3, uh... <laughs> So you see how this is actually a very difficult question, and it's a very important uh, report. Uh, you only get three reports each time, but you get these three reports 
reliably, um, you know, uh, once a season essentially. So you get like four times a year, I think, or at the very least three times a year. So you get nine of these things. So if you actually know that you're going to get nine of these things, right? Um, oh, and I want to use one report on that. Uh, uh, well, I don't know if I want to use it on that uh, TM Opera. Uh, but that would be the TM Opera that that would be the character that could become a useful uh, 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 Stamina 9 character, so... I, I don't know, uh, but... This is the way I've been thinking about this, um, and the other thing I want to say is instead of focusing all your effort on like, you know, this moment in which the attack camp report is available and you just run like crazy, I think the, the, the easier thing to do is basically, you know, on your daily runs when you got nothing else to do and you're not really sure what you're doing you just do like a regular you know run that that runs as many g1 races as possible and if you get a good character that can be that can be useful in the future you just hold on to that character and as long as you do that then you don't have to go crazy uh with uh, the tachyon report and you'll have a lot of characters that uh, you might want to use uh, that's the way i've been doing um and i hope that uh, people don't go crazy this you know because they know that this is a very important report anyway um kind of like babbling along really <laughs> i'm not sure <clears throat> i'm not sure how useful uh, you know my conversation here was um but i hope it was uh, you know you just basically you know after you do the run you have to end it with a uh, well you don't have to but if you have the energy you want to end it with like a uh, attempt at uh, you know, trying again. Uh, right now, the, you have the opportunity to try again and again, twice uh, per day. So uh, now is actually a good time to do, uh, you know, parent runs and grandparent runs. So uh, having a good parent or a grandparent is very useful. Um, but it, it's not as important as uh, making sure that. Whoops! It's not as important as making sure that you use. Uh, outside sources to make sure that you get really good uh, uh, parents that you can borrow. Uh, so let me just end with that. So let's say that you want to do a runner for this upcoming uh, long distance. So, you know, Daiwa Scarlet, right? Uh, so reset that. And you can always borrow somebody. And you can, right now you can borrow 10 people. I haven't done a single run yet today. Um, but you can actually borrow someone like this. Right? So that one character gives you double circle. So, you know, this person has done their duty in running all these races. This is a climax. <laughs> this is a Mant character. Uh, but, you know, did mile, mid-distance, and long. So she's around um, almost everything here. Uh, although she lost a Tenno Show Spring. Um, but you can sort of see, like, the, the number of G1 victories here. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I think Yasuda, she already ran, 13, yep, uh, 13, 14, uh, 15, yeah, so she's won 15 G1 races, and here's the skill set that she has, stamina 3, Runner 3, and uh, Green Skill 3. She has a really good Green Skill for long distance, by the way. For long distance, uh, you know, it increases your speed tremendously if you have enough stamina. You're going to have enough stamina. So here's what she's got. She's got uh, Spring, Right Turn, although this is on the weak side. Uh, runner, distance, uh, runner Straight, uh, Long Distance Corner, uh, Jigatame, Climax 3, um, and... Uh, all of that so you know you want characters like this uh, you, you want to be able to borrow good characters so there's that uh, McQueen you also have I also have this McQueen um, no it's not this McQueen uh, hmm That's weird. There was another McQueen that was actually very, very good that I had. Uh, and now they're gone. 
<laughs> that's weird. Well, that's annoying. Um, I may have been dropped. <laughs> well, that sucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, so this is the mile. But what you want to do is you want to actually find parents that you can borrow that's actually very good as well. So if you have parents that you can borrow, and you know, I, don't, I don't make that many runners, but if you can actually have parents that you can borrow that's really good, that even if your uh, uh, parent or grandparent is not as strong, uh, you'll have a good enough uh, parentage for the, the main characters that you're going to run. Uh, so uh, you have to actually figure out who you want to run for a mile. Uh, and for the long distance now, and, and then go, you know, calculate backwards from there. So in my case, I'm probably uh, going to send out uh, Vivlos, and because I know that I'm going to send out Vivlos, uh, I know that one of the parents needs to be Major Orion because <laughs> she is a betweener. So you know, uh, I worked at Major Orion and. Uh, during the Lark scenario, and I got a really good Dimension Orion uh, parent, so I'm like, all right, I'm done, <laughs> right? Because I borrowed this uh, uh, King Halo, because uh, she had a Spring 3, uh, she had Grandmasters 2, um, and, you know, like, eh, it's like, you know, she's fine, but, you know, it's, but the important part was she had uh, Guts 3, Mile 3, and, and uh, uh, Green 3. Now, I did not know at the time that the uh, you know, we're going to have a really, really good Guts card. I mean, I just thought that we're just going to have uh, Gold City and Gold City alone. So I thought, oh, you know, I'll, I'll boost her up because Gold City, she's good, but she's not that super strong. She's not as strong as Orfever. So <laughs> um, having, a, I thought, you know, six Guts would be fine. Uh, and then I got Speed. So oh, that's good. Um, and then depending on, you know, the track, you, then you basically tailor your parent to this, right? Um, but because we know that uh nishino flower uh, uh can work here you can actually use a nishino flower parent although i don't have a nishino flower parent because i've, I've been working on nishino flower as a grandparent uh, as, as a parent myself so that's why i don't but if you're not going to use an acceleration skill like nishino flower you can always then just pick uh someone like oguri uh, this oguri is not bad but uh, it's, it's turf so you you want to look for a mile or goodie. Let's see, All right? So this is mile, mile, and turf, right? But this is for leaders, I believe. Yeah, this has got a lot of leader skills. Um, This is another mile. Let's see if this is for mile leaders or betweeners. This is for uh, betweeners. So this is a betweener Oguri. That's actually this is actually quite good. That's good too. Yeah, that's good too. So you basically uh, uh, sphere and fight, free uh, sphere and free, and uh, and and free. So you know, I mean. You just borrow, and you got ten turns, so you, there's a good chance that you can actually uh, get a good uh, good result out of this. So uh, you can do an acceleration character like Nation of Flower. Well, uh, like this one here. And that would be mile two, four, mile seven, uh, nine, between her three and mile three. So you know this is this will be plenty, uh, and I'll have you know I'll have just one. Uh, I ha I'll have the one uh, between her necessary to hopefully get mile S and between her S. And, you know, uh, I don't need to worry about borrowing, or you could borrow. Right. And because you get 10 tries, I mean, I think borrowing is not a bad idea. It's actually a good idea. Um, oh, it's mental, that's why. <laughs> uh, so that's your Oguri. Alright. Really good parents here. <clears throat> right? 
Um, and even if you don't actually do, you know, the UAF scenario for parent runs, you can borrow somebody. Uh, you can look for somebody who does it, and then you can borrow that person to UAF parent runs, and then you'll get a, 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 a good, uh, good run. Hopefully, Magonami here is good. Um, so that's actually nice because that these two are very nice because these can actually cheapen the gold skills that the scenario provides and the friend provides. And hopefully, you know, uh, I'm not going to use it. I mean, you know, hopefully this person will actually put in, you know, tacky reports into Power Mile. <laughs> I don't know if the person will, but if the person puts in, you know, the tacky report into Power Mile, then hey, you know, I'm, I'm sitting golden here. Everything's going to be great. Uh, so, two mile, uh, two betweener, so that's betweener five, and then a mile five on this side. And then this side will have. Uh, uh, mile five, if not mile six, because I might put one tachyon report into uh, this Ryan. So there you go. All right. Um, so important thing to to think about for the tachyon report. I, I took uh, some time to, to talk about it because I think it's important. Um, I hope I didn't bore people. Um, so there you go. You know, make sure that uh, you know you, you can plan ahead and you you know you do the parent runs. On a daily basis, uh, you know, even when uh, when the Tachyon report event is not going on, um, and that actually you know, saves time and you don't go crazy. It's like you know, here's a character that I might want to use in a future Tachyon report, and you just keep that character around. There you go. Um, all right, talk to you guys later. Bye bye.